All right, apparently I'm on uh, some sort of night light and candle kick, so I'm gonna do another one today and I'm gonna use this glass float that I have had for a couple of years. You can find these uh, a lot of places now that, and they're not very expensive. The smaller ones I think are 12 or 15 bucks. This, this big one was uh, I think 40, um, but it's been a long process. I, uh, a couple years ago, uh, Paul Stafford did a did an article in the American Woodworking Magazine with these cool little uh, night lights, and he just used the little electric candles. But he carved out, you know, little hearts and stuff on the side of them. And I, it's in the um, October 2011 issue. If anybody wants to look it up, um, I'm not a carver, so I never really thought about it. Anyway, I was messing around with something else and figured out, well, I could do this. And it turned into a disaster. So you're not gonna see that video, but here's a little hint of uh, what it looked like. So here's what I was doing. I was making a little night light, gonna have the uh, little candle stick up in there. And my idea was to put marbles, you know, countersink holes all over it and put the marbles in and it would shine through the marbles, but I couldn't get them to countersink far enough. And I had them glued all over this thing and it was a monstrosity. Anyway. Maybe I'll figure out something else, but that didn't work, so I made a nightlight out of this. Let's go ahead and get started.
I don't know. I'll have to find out whether the microphone was on in the beginning of the video or not. This is Myrtle Wood. I put a fresh piece on and I was turning the dust collector on. Get rid of or some of the dust. That's why I wasn't talking. And well, now the microphone was off. Anyway, I have it all hollowed out. The reason I, I didn't hollow it all the way out is I just don't need it. I need, need uh, right in this lip here. And I'm just going to drill a hole straight through the center of it now for and I just want it, whatever that is, so that this slides up in there and locks in, just like it would if it was a, a metal piece. So this is gonna come in the bottom, slide up there and lock in. Okay, the diameter is three quarters on that little clip, but it won't go around the light bulb, so I had to oversize it a little bit, and I'll, I'll met, play with it to get it to fit tight in there, but I think it, the little clip should expand enough to... All right, I'm just gonna sand it before I flip it around and finish the bottom, and I ran out of wax. My magic can of wax is dry, and I don't have a spare can. So I'm just gonna sand with uh, straight mineral oil, and then I'll put another finish on it, like a butcher block or that crystal coat. I'm just gonna run through the rest of the grit. Okay, the the lip around here is really thin, so I can't put it in like a jam chuck or anything, and there's just not enough material to hold onto it, so I'll just put it on my little jig, little thing I made here for doing bowls. Bring this up. See how true it is. There we go, that's pretty good. Just gonna tighten it up a little bit. I'm just gonna take light little cuts on this. Basically, I'm just cleaning that up. a little base with it with some feet on it it'll mount right up in here and then the light will go in that now it'll give it room for the cord too to, to sit down there and come out the side okay I just took another piece of uh, uh, myrtle wood here and trued it up I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit and then I'll pop another hole through it and then we'll put some legs on Okay, so what I did is I, I made the hole in the bottom a little bit bigger 
so that I that everything would fit together nicely. What I'm going to do is turn a little tenon here so that it seats right up in there in there and I can just glue it in. Just a little one. I like that. So seats on there. Okay, then I'm going to turn it around and turn the legs on the other side. All right, so I just turned on just a piece of waste block. So I'm going to take that, use it as a, as a jam chuck. And I'm going to bring the tailstock back up. Okay, I just need to be kind of careful because there's a pretty big hole in there. And uh, so the feet are going to be towards the outside, outside of this. I don't want to want to pop through. So I'm going to turn this off now. Okay, so I just marked out where the where the feet are going to be. I'm going to take it on the oscillating sander and put the big barrel on it and just grind down these little spots here. Okay, so I just took it over on the oscillating sander and just cut these out. Sits nice and flat. And then I had to hog out that one a little bit too. To uh, I should have just drilled a drilled a bigger hole in it, and I could have made this tenon here any size. But I just snapped together like that. Just put a little bit of glue in there. Anyway, so I'm gonna put this back on the lathe now and sand it up and finish it. Just gonna hand sand the little parts in here and and. Uh, so I don't knock those down uneven. And turn, turn the lathe back up.
And that around where you're gonna see it. All right, there we go. Got it all put together and you can see the, the feet there. And even if you were doing a bowl, just a quick way to, to uh, put feet on, feet on it. So just mark out where you want and sand out the, the parts you don't want. So it doesn't have to be, be something like this. But there we go. And uh, I was thinking about it too. This is a huge float. I'll maybe look for a smaller float because it looks kind of, I think it overwhelms the little stand. But I don't know. You be the judge. But so next, <laughs> next time you have a bowl where the bottom blows out, turn it into a nightlight or a little lamp or something. Just flip it upside down. Put something like this in the, in the hole. All right, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.